pee, gotta 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 pee, g
Let's have our HomePod play an alarm whenever our panic button scene is triggered there. So we'll long press on the scene. We'll go into add or remove accessories. We'll find our HomePod lines in the dining room there. We'll tap on it and then we'll tap done. Now under media, we have our audio selection there. So we'll tap that. We'll want to make sure that the play audio option is checked and then we'll go into choose audio. I've had quite a bit of luck with this album here. It has a ton of different types of alarm sounds and sirens and all sorts of really good things and I quite like it. I use it for most of the alarm sounds that I have for various different automations in my home. But we'll go down. I found one earlier that was called, I think it's Distress. Uh, yep, Distress there. So we'll go ahead and tap on the plus button to add it. Want to make sure that we do enable repeat because we do want this playing well indefinitely and then make sure that our volume is at 100% and we'll X out to make sure that all of our changes are saved. So now let's get into how to actually add this scene to a button. Now this is probably the easiest part of this whole automation and that's adding the scene to the button. So here in Apple's home app, I'm using the Acura wireless mini switch. So I'll go ahead and tap on that tile there. Under actions, I'll choose long press, but if you decided to use a single or double press, you want to make sure that you're following along with those there. So we'll tap add to the right of that. Then we'll go in and find our panic button scene that we've been working on that we created first in the E for HomeKit app. And then we added our HomePod to mine's here at the bottom so I'll go ahead and tap on that one once we've done that we'll tap next we'll make sure that everything looks good there we'll tap done at the top right and then we can see that we do have that added as our long press action so this is a relatively simple solution for a local panic button in your home kit home however you might want to expand that functionality maybe you want to have a phone call that's already made or you want to send a text message. If that's the case, you'll need to use something like shortcuts. Our buddy Shane Watley has got a fantastic walkthrough on how to do that using Apple's Shortcuts app, and I'll link that in the iCard up above and in the description box down below. So what other actions or accessories would you add to a panic button scene? What other ideas do you have for using HomeKit buttons? Let us know in the comments down below. Also in the description box, you'll find links to pick up all of the different items that we use to create today's video if you're interested in that. And you'll also find a walkthrough on how all of this works over at the blog at myhomekithome.com. Of course, you'll find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at myhomekithome as well. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel by helping others find our content and we greatly appreciate it. It. If you're interested in more HomeKit automation ideas, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. And if you made it this far and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Well, that's a wrap on another one, folks. I do thank you for watching it until I see you in the next one. This has been Dustin with my HomeKit Home. I'm out. That's for you, Eric.